What's going on YouTube? Noah 5 Ash back with another little road back to a thousand. We got my baby chilling back here. Say hello. Hello. Jeez, we're smiling. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go over to Vendor Village here like I did yesterday and we're gonna, oh, we have to zoom it out, but. Yeah, we'll zoom in action on my face there for you guys, but we're just gonna get it in, get them up. Quick, Holly said she's hungry. Just got done playing in front seven holes with Clay Edwards. He was like, yo, you turn to play? I was like, okay, let's do it. So we played the first seven. Uh, you know, Holly didn't shoot too bad today. You know, I did my job on the caddy side, so that's all that matters. I gotta do my job. So. Hopefully she'll find a group tomorrow, but we'll see. See, that looks pretty good right there. We got all three of them in frame. Uh, we could putt all three of them. Hmm, I've been working on the stroke a little bit here and there. Uh, it's been feeling good. I've been kind of really trying to sync up that arm, that hand to arm, kind of one motion out. You know, it's just one, one motion out. I feel like I feel like I accidentally got into this habit of like throwing this out and then following with that so it's like kind of show you what i was doing and then show you what i'm working on but what i was doing was i was kind of bringing it here and then throwing the elbow and then kind of dragging the hand out it's like elbow and then trying to eliminate that and go just straight down to up with this arm right here you see that right there i don't know if you guys can see that from the side angle here but down up. That's it right there. Down. Up. Just real basic. Real smooth. The biggest thing that I've been learning about my stroke in general is just how hard I need to grip it, right? Like, I remember I used to softly grip the putter and as I would as I would progress and play during my round, my putts in the beginning were kind of, I'd hold them like, you know, maybe like, let's say that's as hard as I can go, I'd probably hold them like real soft, you know, just kind of like enough to where somebody could pull out of your hand, but not enough to where you're gonna let go of it. So it's like real light grip on it. And that's been the key thing that's been helping me make putts recently is just keeping that light grip, right? It doesn't matter what my stroke is, it's just making sure that grip is nice and nice and light not too tense you know i don't like to, don't try 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 that if you guys have never tried it. if you're like a real grip like you like to put some grip on your putter and then and then put it try to relax the hand and relax everything and relax the shoulders and but really just relax that hand bring it down and bring it up and let it go to where you want it to super relax the whole time and then give it a nice deep breath too so Bought some Modelo's yesterday, so I think it's Modelo time tonight. Uh, fuck it, you know. Let's see how far these putts are, right? So let's so give you guys a good idea, right? So we'll go. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's about twelve steps. So uh, let's see. Or no, twelve feet. I meant. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 26, 8, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10
not a bad uh not a bad stretch of baskets honestly having this 10 footer to stay dialed on these shorties is always good you know you don't want to miss any of those and give any strokes back to those shorties so We'll go long again, actually. I was going to come back down, but we'll go long again. Ah, that 40. That 40 big, man. That 40 is big. It's no joke. We'll try one more to that 40. That was gasolina. I've just been feeling real confident in the stroke recently. Just, but I just got to remember to keep it smooth, keep it slow, and keep that grip nice. And almost like I used to grip a baseball bat. I don't know. Yeah, my, my dad with a baseball bat, he would teach us, like, you know, if you're white knuckling it, like if you're taking your frisbee and you're squeezing it to the point to where you're white knuckling it, like you could see, you, that's what they mean. Like you could see the white in my finger, like being pushed down. If you're doing that in your swing or in your throw, I personally think you're gripping it too hard just because it's not going to, I don't know, just in my opinion, that doesn't help. Like if, if, it, if it works for you, great, keep it, keep it rolling. But for me, I like being nice and soft on that putt for the stroke and for, I mean, throwing. I don't like squeezing the fucking, I don't like squeezing the shit out of it. I have like a, a firm but, but loose grip, you know. I'm not, I'm not squeezing it. I'm never squeezing it. That's one thing I'm never doing is like really, really squeezing it. And that's one thing I felt like I was doing a lot last year was trying to squeeze it and pinch it and do some weird shit. So, oh shit. Hey, come back down. Hmm. For lunch today, dude, we went out to this Planet Fitness. Next to the Planet Fitness, there's this Mexican grocery store. Oh my god, dude. Like whew, that shit is. Oh shit. That was what happens right there sometimes. That's why I gotta remember to keep a good pace on it, right? Because like, if I'm 20 feet and I'm putting it to where I'm going to be 20 feet away from it, if I miss, for me, that was a that's too hard of a putt, you know? It's like I just put it at 30 feet hard. So that's one thing I'm still working on as well is, like, relaxing the hand and then keeping a good pace, not getting into that, like, down to up pop movement, you know? Sometimes I'll – that's what happened to me a lot last year and the year before. It's like you just get too comfortable out there and you're just boom, boom. And the next thing you know, you yank the – yeah. Yes. Whew. All right. Fucking iPhone storage said it was full, but yeah, I was just yapping about bullshit. You know how it is. But yeah. So sync up the arm, hand, arm, sync, uh, relaxed hand, and then a good pace. I think those are the keys to throwing a good putt. And if I do all those steps, it doesn't really fucking matter. Uh, it was a good putt for me. So that's that's how I kind of. 
Whew, that's how I look at good putts. It doesn't it literally. It does not matter if I take this putt and I miss it like this. As long as I threw a good pace, you know what I'm saying. As long as I put a good pace, I breathed. I, I I did all the steps beforehand to prepare for this putt. As long as I do all the steps beforehand, whatever happens is it doesn't matter, you know. And if you do all those good things, then you're probably gonna make it or at least be close enough to tap it in on the next one. But yeah, that's just my opinion. You know, putt to the basket. So like putting to the basket, staying relaxed. Whew, not putting to the basket. That sounds stupid. But I'm putting to put it in. I'm not putting through the fucking basket. That's the dumbest thing I've ever fucking heard in my life. Putting through the basket. Like, no, you should not be putting through the basket. If you unless you want to fucking three putt a bunch then you could putt through the basket. But if you don't want to three-putt a bunch, like me, you throw it in the basket. Throw it in the basket. So in the basket, breathe to relax. Make sure you get a good pace and relax the hand. So those are the steps. Oh, those are the steps I need to take to, you know, just feel like I threw a decent putt up. And if I do that every time, I, I focus on my breath, I focus on the speed, and I focus on relaxing my hand and being confident. If I do all that, if I do all four of those steps right there, it is a win in my book, no matter what happens, right? No matter if I make, miss the putt, doesn't really matter. I'm counting that as a win, you know, because I did everything in my power to try and execute the putt. So that's all you can do out there is just control what you can control, right? Find what works for you. Those are the things that work for me, so try it out for yourself. Because some people are different, you know. Obviously, you see fucking Gannon Burr with the fucking stupid, you know. Like, I would never recommend somebody to drag it back as fast as they can and then just spit it out as fast. They, I would never recommend that for anybody in putting ever, right? Because it's just not. I mean, it's just it's it's good for him, but it's not good for everybody. So, find what works for you. What works for me is putting with a good pace, you know, nice and confident but putting it in the basket. Don't put it through the basket. That's just one thing I always find that's a little stupid in my opinion is putting through the basket. So y'all go try that out. Put to the basket, not to the basket. Don't think put to the basket because you're just going to put it probably under. Put Think fucking put it in the basket. Like what are y'all thinking, dude? Put it in the basket. Don't put it through the basket. Shit might get cut throughs and shit. Put it, put it fucking in the basket. Put it in the basket. So... Shout out Gateway, shout out Holly, shout out my mom and dad. I know you guys are watching. Listen to me ramble on. I'll get better at these videos, I promise. But I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.